Have you ever wondered where all this sand comes from? And is the sand on this beach the exact same as the sand on that beach? So we refer to sand as a size. So from about 0.6 of a millimetre up to two millimetres is, is sand. And something finer is mud and something coarser is gravel. So sand ultimately comes from the erosion of existing rock materials, like quartz is probably the most common. There's a reason why sand looks like rocks when under the microscope. And there's a connection between the bush and the beach, as eroded rocks from far inland are carried by rivers to the coast. Our beaches are being nourished by a material that's often travelled from hundreds of kilometres inland. And then once that sediment makes it to the coast, it gets distributed along according to waves and other sorts of currents and tidal currents. If you look closely, you'll see that no two beaches are exactly the same. I grew up in New Zealand. I didn't know people had white sand beaches till I was about 16 because I grew up on black sand and even though it wasn't that hot in New Zealand when I was growing up, that beach sand was really hot on your feet. Each year, a sand distribution study takes place along the coast to better understand the composition and movement of beach sand. What we're doing is measuring the sizes and the makeup of the, the sand itself. Is this beach made up of fine sand or coarse sand or medium sand? The main sand that you'll find is what's called modern skeletal or biogenically produced sand. That's produced by little creatures that break down out of um, seagrass meadows. That's why seagrass is very important to maintain. They are actually a sediment source. And then you've got the limestone, which does break down as well, which is some, a bit more ancient material, but it is biogenically driven. In the northern part, Champion Bay, you get that sort of quartz oak sand that's coming out of the Chapman River. So that's from rocks eroding further inland and being washed down. And so when the river does break through, you get that sort of pinky, sparkly material. Over a long period of time, the sand can be recycled back into rock. Not much will happen to that quartz sand until it's probably one and a half to two kilometres buried and then those new minerals will start being precipitated in pore spaces and it basically becomes a rock and it keeps being buried and then eventually if it's lucky enough it'll come back up to earth's surface um, and then that process begins again. I love a trip to the beach. <laughs>